hi guys welcome to pyjango tutorials so as you know in the last video we have set up our basic django project and react.js project and in the last video i've told you that in the next video we will configure or we will set up our channels as well because you know many of you are facing problem with setting up channels in your uh, pc and that's and that too uh, most of the guys are facing problem with setting up uh, redis in your system so for that, what you need to do, go to your Microsoft Windows Store. I already have this in my PC, so I won't be doing that. But I'll tell you basic steps, how will you proceed. So as soon as this Microsoft Store open, this usually takes time. It's a bit slow. I don't know why, but getting store up and running takes time. Okay, now all you have to do is type out Linux here. And when you do, you'll see this one two. So I have on my PC, I guess this one, or uh, no, it's actually twenty point something. So just let me just check. Yeah, it's twenty point zero point four point six. So when you'll come to the screen, you'll see an option install here instead of open, because I have this already on my PC. It's uh, telling me to open it directly. And once you have it installed, just come here, type it out. You will see it as, as an app. Just click on it and uh, Redis CL, uh, sorry, not Redis, uh, Ubuntu CLI or command line will be up and running for you with your name here. You don't have to do much configuration. And in this, you just need to write a command to run Redis server. So let me just get that from Linux server command. So I'll get the link from the official documentation. Okay. Install. Or I can type install redis on windows yeah this is the documentation i'll try to paste this link as well now all i have to do is uh, in my case redis is already installed but when you will come to this screen for the very first time you have to install redis so this is the command for that sudo apt get install redis so these are basically red uh, linux command but now that linux subsystem is running on your windows pc these commands will work in this particular command line as well now once this is done all we have to do is sudo service redis server start so let me just show you it will ask for a password so for the very first time when you will open uh, this ubuntu you will be asked to create password and that's the password you will keep because it is the password for the root user in my case anshu is the root user so i have to type uh, this password whenever i'm using sudo command to uh, run any particular command so i'll type the password and hit enter uh, redis server is started now if i do redis cli I'm on the Redis command line and you can see that that Redis is running in 6379 and as many of you know that this is the default port where Redis is uh, will run so uh, I'll just keep things default for now only and uh, if we do ping then I'll get in return as pong so this basically verifies that uh, Redis is up and running on your server and everything is done uh, as concerned with the part of redis uh, so whenever you are working with redis or whenever you are using redis as a channel layer make sure that this command line or uh, make sure from this command line that redis is up and running and then you can simply close it because this redis will now onwards run in your local host so you don't need this because uh, redis can communicate pretty easily uh, with your django application also make sure that uh, you have channels redis installed on your uh, virtual environment 
I know we have already used this in WhatsApp clone as well because we will set up channel layer for our uh, Django channel and this is the basically work as a message broker so whenever we are sending any message or receiving any message this is the layer that will send or broadcast this, that message to our channel groups so you will understand all these terms and terminology in the future videos but as of now this is how you will uh, set up uh, red uh, channels once we start building our consumer along django channels then also if any problem occurs or anything occurs uh, you can or we can bug it out together uh, or solve it out together because i'm also using latest version of every possible libraries that we need for our chat application so make sure we are on the same page in terms of uh, versions and all uh, for python you can see my python version is let me just select interpreter and in my case this time it will be charter and uh, just wait it's installing python so i'll after installation of python i'll tell you what is the python version so it doesn't matter whether you are using 3.8 or 3.9 but just to be sure we are on the same page you can know what python version i'm using and also i'll create one requirements.txt file as well so you can see all the uh, packages or utilities that i'm using and their version number as well so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and from the next video we will officially start with our application so the very first thing we will do is set up an authentication system where user can register in our uh, application user can log in in our application and log out in these sort of things we'll start with these things and then we'll gradually proceed to the chat application again guys the database that we are using will be my mysql so make sure you have uh, mysql uh, connector uh, libraries and all also you have workbench mysql workbench to see all the data and uh, if you need to run any raw query then you, we, that's also we can do in workbench so make sure you have these things and we'll officially proceed with the video in the next uh, with the tutorial in the next video once again thank you so much for watching and please guys do like share and subscribe thank you